Go ahead. Go ahead. What's going on guys? Tom Davis here, America's Canon Educator. Today, we have something very interesting for you guys. One of the most reactive dogs I've ever seen. Uh, he tries to go after me a bunch of times. As you guys know, I specialize in working with aggressive dogs as well as reactive dogs, but more importantly, teaching the dog owner how to handle the situation. Now, there's a lot of people, guys, out there that can work with the nastiest dogs in the world, but what I special in, guys, and what I absolutely love and is, of course, my passion, the No Bad Dogs movement, guys, is making sure that the dog owners understand exactly why this is happening and how to overcome it. This individual has traveled a couple states to get here. This dog has worked with other trainers and have been unsuccessful. And so we've landed here at the Upstate Canine Academy, guys, and I'm gonna walk you through this entire process on this episode. If you guys haven't yet on my YouTube channel, do not forget to like this video, smash that subscribe button, and later in this video, we're gonna be doing uh, some free No Bad Dog merch giveaway, so make sure you watch the whole video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's just get right into it. Is this what he does to everybody? Everything. Okay. Watch out, Taylor, just back up a little bit. Yeah. I am very nervous about him biting anyone because like yeah. this, this is the this is the big issue in the reason. So and it's like this in the car. I'm gonna get you uh I'm gonna get you a setup because right now just with the lack of control, nothing's gonna all right, guys, so what we're going to do is uh, right now, obviously, with the severe reactivity, I have to be able to stop that. So for me, guys, it's really about being assertive and making sure like you can still hear him. He's going nuts. Really, really, really bad reactivity. Some of the worst reactivity I've seen, especially for for no reason, like I'm, I'm being very neutral. I'm not asking. I'm not doing anything. What she's done so far, you guys probably couldn't hear, is uh, her other trainer basically basically suggested to use positive punishment with shake cans. So having uh, like a like a can filled with like pennies or something, she's shaking it as the dog is reacting, uh, severely severely reacting. It's not working. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the uh, dog chair 280C. So basically, what it is, guys, is. Um, and right now, I just want to walk you through the process of a couple different ways on how to do this. But right now, wirelessly, um, the Dogtra 280C has a really nice vibrate. So all it does is it vibrates just like your cell phone. Dogs really don't like it. And what we have to do is we have to calm him down and make sure that we have control. So we're going to start with the 280C to see if we can minimize the reactivity. And then we're going to switch to some other things to get her under control on the leash. Feel that? That's what I'm gonna do, so it's just to vibrate. So what we're doing is we're gonna put the Dr. 280C on, guys, and, and again, like it's like the same situation we dealt with Jeffrey, is we have a dog that is exteriorly and, and internally just being very stressed, very reactive, uh, making it very difficult for the owner to really do anything. As you can see, the reactivity is extreme. I, I could probably grab the leash and maneuver things, but ultimately she's going to need control. The likely uh, route we're going to take with this dog is going to be remote collar anyway, so she can control the dog uh, pretty much anywhere. Um, so we're going to put the remote on and then we're going to start correcting the reactivity with the vibrate se setting on the, two, uh, the 280C which is right here on the front. Okay, so, so, so when he barks, you're gonna tell him to leave it. Okay. So you're gonna help me reinforce it. Okay, so you see immediate change, right? Yeah. Like when I try to correct, he gets mad. So here's the thing is, the, the good thing about using the remote collar when you're when you're when you're correcting is very very simple. So when you're correcting a dog physically, and a dog is very a dog is very bratty and very like like that, yeah. you're gonna get a conflict with the physical correction because it's very clear. It's like leave it, snap with the collar, and that's why sometimes using uh, different types of 
prong collars and slip collars and things aren't necessarily good for a dog like this because he's like, let me go, I gotta go. And so what the e-collar does is it gives you huge advantages. I can't tell you how many dogs I've changed with this just because I can stand here and go and the dog goes just like he did. And he's like, I didn't like that. And you go, well, listen, here's what's gonna happen is every time you bark like that, this thing's gonna turn on. And so normally we introduce this without any punishment whatsoever. It's very nice, but in a situation like this where it's really, really bad, you've driven multiple states to get this done, um, we have to make sure that we're putting appropriate things on to make sure that the dog is discouraged. Now, a couple things like emotionally how he's feeling is he's feeling a bit defeated. So you're gonna see him hide behind you and go, well, like, I don't really like this. You're gonna go, well, that's good because I don't like the show that you're putting on right now because you're not gonna be able to live your life with that. That is really bad reactivity. Uh, now we need to tighten it up and we need to control the entire situation on the leash and all that and stuff. I'm gonna take him for a second, okay? We're gonna get this figured out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take him and work him on the actual leash and see if I can tighten, cause I don't want, cause the goal is isn't to like completely decompress and like make him feel like crap cause he's reacting. Yeah. I want him to change emotionally to think he doesn't have to react. Okay, come come here for a second. And I just have you grab the leash. No, you're no, you're good. It's part of the process. If he comes at me, that's okay. So what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna go grab you a long line. And because because he has this, because we don't want him to bite me. Because as soon as he bites me, our relationship changes. So don't don't stress about it. It's not a big deal. Um, we're gonna figure this out. All right. So I'm gonna have you put this on and then we're gonna walk over to this side area so we have- All right guys, giveaway time. All you have to do in the comments below right now is leave your dog's name letter by letter. I'm gonna select two people and ship out some free No Bad Dog t-shirts. Ready, set, go. Let me see the leash. Go ahead. Shh, shh. No, but you see that's the trigger. Yeah, the trick, the, when he's with me, he's, that, he reacts no, to like everyone. Let's work on it. I don't know what we're I'm doing wrong. Yep, we'll work on it. Just go to, go to do the same thing. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Leave it. Leave it. Better. Come here, buddy. Come on. Good boy. Good. So now the next thing is, is he has a really bad reaction in the car. In the so car. I, wanna, I wanna work on that. Yeah. So I want you to load up the car, start it, put, put your air conditioner on. Um, I'm gonna use the, the Dogtra um, to correct him. You just tell him to leave it because it's another thing that you have a really hard time with. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Yeah. All right, you guys, what I'm gonna do is obviously this is severe reactivity. So because he's in a car and we don't have the ability to correct, correct him, and the reason why this dog is like this is from the lack of consequences for this action. So there's a vibrate function on this Dogger 280C, which I talked about earlier. So we're gonna start using that now and implementing now. Um, and we're gonna work our way into the car to get him better. So I'm using it now, guys. Leave it. So you see that jump? That's what I thought, dude. And for me, that's what it's about, guys, is just making sure that this dog is out of control, this poor, girl is just really struggling with this dog because he's he's a you know he's a lovely dog once you get to know him i'm sure like they all are no bad dogs but he, right now he needs help so um, i'm using technology he's barking through the window i'm hitting the pager which as you guys know is brrr, high vibrate frequency and it's deterred the behavior and i'm not so now we're going to take it a step further i'm going to come in Okay, just, it's okay, he can hang <laughs> So I just used the pager there. Better, huh? Yeah, it stopped really quickly too. Yeah, it's nice. Much better. Whew, so we're gaining ground, guys. Uh, obviously, it's it's a continual battle here on this 
on this episode, but uh, Jinx is, is, is definitely getting better. You can hear the uh, lack, or, or, or I should say the relief in the owner's voice. So um, we're continuing to just use the Dogtra 2EDC. And the reason why I'm saying Dogtra 2EDC, guys, is Dogtra is a big company and they have a lot of different models. The 2EDC is the actual model that has the really high frequency pager. And it's something that I've been using for a couple years now. It's my go-to unit. I'll leave the description in the link below, of course. All right now we can get into some work here. So it's, it's tough because we kind of have like a shark in a, in a cage type thing. I have to go in and just help him with this. So then I can start peeling this stuff off. Yeah. So we're going to work with him. Okay. We're going to build his confidence. We're going to build his confidence and his self-esteem. And um, again, like he's gotten away with so much. So emotion is always a key component when we're dealing with dogs to say, how do you feel? But when he's trying to hurt me and come after the person that's gonna potentially save him, I don't care how he feels at that moment. <laughs> I have to make sure I'm like, yeah, we're not, that's not happening. Yeah. Now here I care about how he feels because I'm making sure he's, you know, I'm not in his face. I'm just hanging out with him. I'm judging his, his behavior. All right, so what you guys are about to see is I'm gonna transfer this dog to two of my other male trainers. As you guys saw in the beginning of this video, this dog is severely reactive to any strangers, especially men. So watch and see what happens. All right, you guys, that's a wrap for today. Thank you so much for listening, watching, all that fun stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. If you haven't yet, do not forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to enter to win some free No Bad Dog merch. I will talk to you guys next time. Peace. We're taking our shot, bring what you got. We're going all the way to the top. We will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage. We'll play live. In the crowd, everybody's jumping around.